What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with another Rift Breaker episode for you guys today. And our Geo Scanner is ready to rumble. So it's like a what's what's the word? I can't remember what they're called now. The little scanny things, magnet detectors. That's what they're called. Fancy like things that you see people walking around on the beach for, looking for like two-year-old phones that someone's left from a party on the beach. So yeah, we're looking for the cobalt. Oh. Does that mean we're here? Let's chop down these trees here. No, I probably shouldn't because I'm a murderer. Oh, we found some enemies. Sorry, fellas. Just casually killing the native wildlife. Oh, there we go. All right, so we found... Whoa! I'm stuck in the geothermal vent. Okay, so that was just a geothermal vent. Let's see what's in this one. Cobalt? Or is it another geothermal vent? Hey, I think that's cobalt. Yeah, nice. Alright, so we got that's quite a bit of cobalt. I thought it was gonna be like a deposit though. So we're gonna just dig up this, I guess, until we find enough of it. More storage facilities. Oh. Around our base. Should we? The attack's coming from the south. I'm not too worried about it for now. We should be fine. Let's keep trying to track down this uh, cobalt. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is definitely cobalt, I think. Oh no. Ionium, which we already have a max amount of. Alright, cool. Wonderful. Uh, we've still got more research getting uh, looked up as well. We're currently looking at liquid weapons. So I think this is the flamethrower. And the ammunition for the flamethrower. How do I get around here? This is a very hard spot to get through. Drop all the trees down. I wonder if I can prematurely fight the hordes. It looks like I probably can. I don't know, it says they're coming from over east, so I don't know if we can actually it doesn't look like it, because there's no there's obviously no enemies here. Oh! Has a knight? I don't know what that is, but we'll take it. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can actually fight the enemies earlier. It just looks like they're coming through from there. New blueprints are available for crafting. So yeah, we just got liquid weapons. Uh, so that's the flamethrower. So next up, I think we are researching... What are we... Explosive weapons. So next up is the, the rocket launcher. Because I figured we might as well keep the research going because it actually stacks up. So the same amount of time it takes us to research all of that, we still get extra research time. So what I mean is... Research completed. Yeah, we did. We got the flamethrower. What is this? Titanium handling? Can I research that? Okay. So we've got this, but you can see here, it's it's all stacking. So, like, remove from research. Sentinel tower level 2 and the radar. Uh, let's add that to the research. So, it, it says it takes a certain amount of time. 4 minutes and 10 minutes. And ten, oh, actually, no, I don't think it does. I'm just tripping on acid right now. Never mind. Okay, I was... An aggressive horde has entered the area. It is less than a minute away. Yeah, thanks for the heads up, dude. Did they get... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did these guys get damaged by those clay dudes? Attack? Oh, our base is under attack. I wonder... Oh, it's just the portal. We might actually have to go back to the base. we got an attack incoming in two seconds. I can see already the dudes over there, and I think they're attacking that south side where we have no turrets. So we need to get over there ASAP. Yeah, I don't have any turrets on this side. Base is under 
attack. I'm just gonna try and kite him over here to where we have turrets. That's working good. Woo! That was close. There is a breach in our walls. Steel storage is full. Come on! Come on! Come on! Get the health! Get the health! Get the health! Get the health! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh man, this is intense. I mean, this is kind of my fault because I didn't stick any turrets down here. When in real reality, I probably should have. Right. I think we're okay. Let's repair all of this. It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. Put some more walls up. I'm going to build another one of these nodes so that I can get more turrets up and running. The wind is very slow today. Perfect. Wind is very slow, but we should be okay. Uh, how long do those take to build? And then I'll just get some turrets set up here. Alright, that should help us reinforce all of that, so we should be fine now. I just want to double check this base over here, because I did see some enemies over here. Yeah. And what I'll do is we'll come in here. We'll chuck one more there. Nice. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find some more cobalt. Get out of that. Stuck. Get out of the way. Carbonium storage is full. Okay. We should construct more storage buildings. There we go. Whoa! These guys, they're not really strong, like, when there's one group of them, but when they start bloody stacking up, my god, they do some damage, and you get caught out by them? Bloody hell. Where did you guys just come from? Okay, we should be okay. Uh, it says we're low on thingy, but I don't know why. Okay, we got the flamethrower here. Let's craft that big boy. Crafting completed. Uh, small machine gun. I'm going to get rid of the blaster. For that. I reckon that'll be more fun. Why is it saying we don't have energy? Is it because we're they're not connected to the again. grid? Power generation is back to normal. It's possibly because they're not connected to the grid. Yeah, I don't think I connected these towers. No, okay. Base is under attack. All right, they should all be connected up now. Let's go back over to this base, but I think it'll be all right. We did stick up the extra turrets, so I, I imagine we don't have really too much to worry about. Yeah. All right, let's just keep focusing on trying to find this cobalt. Because we need to find 500. I found 44 of it. I'm hoping we can find like a deposit or something because this is going to take us forever if we're getting like 20 per hit. Oh yeah, here, let me, let's take a look at the flamethrower. So I think this is more effective against certain types of enemies in comparison. Because like some I've noticed have say energy weapons and oh my god! <laughs> That's sick. That's so cool. That's definitely one way to do it, though. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, nope, never mind. That's carbonium. I got excited for a second. I was like, finally, a large amount of freaking cobalt. Nope, psych. Joke's on me. Oh, this is actually super satisfying to use. I'm out of ammo for it, though. Oh my god, guys. Alright, we've just found a new enemy. 
Holy smokes, I don't know what that thing is, but it's terrifying. We've got a lot of enemies up here. Oh shit, it just did like some weird ass teleport strike. It's taken a lot to get through too. It's taken like a lot to kill. I've been shooting at it for a while. Jesus. Alright, it's dead. That thing is terrifying. We've got this big ass rock doom again. Alright, he's dead. Got to try and deal with these guys as well. Looks like there's a nest up ahead. The wind is calming down. Wind I'm also thinking of setting up another outpost storm. out here with um, with it near a carbonium deposit or something, and set it up to have like just a pure energy storage area, so that we have a ton of energy coming in from these areas. Because like, there's a ton of this stuff all over the place. We don't necessarily need to defend it all that much, but we can set up a void portal as well. That'll allow us to teleport to it. So I think if we set up some uh, some like mini outposts for energy consumption and thingamajiggy, it'll save us having to build it all around the main base. All right, let's discover this thing. But yeah, still looking for cobalt. I found 77 out of 500, so it's going to be quite a slog to try and find this stuff. I'm stuck. Bring the flamethrower out. Oh, here we go. We've got cobalt from that. I'm going to torch this forest. Just to bring a little bit of light to the place. Also, I think we can pair some of our attacks together. I noticed that while we were fighting these guys, if we set them on fire and then stab them with our spear, it actually does like a lot of damage to them. What are these things? I don't really want to fight one of these guys again. They're super annoying. There's so much HP. I wonder if these guys' attacks actually hurt him. I think they did. I think these guys' attacks actually helped us kill that thing. Alright, let's do with these guys. Alright, I haven't even looked for this. Yeah, so I think if we set up like a mini uh, a mini outpost on these carbonium deposits, it'll make our life a little easier. Uh oh, all that for freaking ir ironium. Like here, for example, what I can do is we can go like this. that and we can go build a gate here and then for power we can just go a carbonium power plant right all right chuck three of those down we can go some energy storages because like this will free up space in the base and I'm pretty sure that it's global. So this is just going to generate a shit ton of power for us, right? And then what I can do is we can go... Power... Energy storage. And I can go... I don't know if that's... Global? It says local. I don't know how to bring it on a global scale, but like... Maybe I should set it. And then what we can do is we can just go New and do has been developed. New buildings are available for material storage. New blueprints are available for crafting. I should still be able to move through all of that. And then we can just use this as like a storage area. So that we have a maximum capacity, like more capacity on stuff. And we build two turrets. Just to overlook things, it looks like we're now on a global scale, possibly. We've got a ton more storage, and then what we can do is we can also store the AI hubs up here as well. So we go like that. Chuck one of these down. 
And another one of these. And I think that's what we do when we come across these thingies. Because that, that'll generate a more turrets more turrets that we can use. Wait, what is that flashing blue light? Did I I've just noticed that? Is that a bunch of cobalt over there? I'm gonna be spewing if that's the case. I don't understand what this circle is. I'm gonna head over there. But yeah, I think that's connected to our full grid now. And then what I'll do is I'll just chuck an extra turret down here. And yeah, that's like something... Oh, hold on. And then what we'll do is we'll chuck a portal down as well. And then that's just something we can use to store and make more storage and stuff like that. Although it says no power is connected. Oh, probably to that turret at the top there. Wow, these guys really, really turn like our base. Alright, we might have to rethink this base strategy, maybe in a less muddier area. I mean, that wasn't that big of a deal. But yeah, attacking these guys turns them like molten and they take more damage. I've just double defense this wall along this side here. Because uh, there's mud dudes, so I'm hoping that that will help us out a little bit. Oh my god. Look at the damage the flamethrower does. Holy smokes. I'm a monster. I mean, we're getting tons of biomass. We've got an attack coming in in a minute, so I should head back to base and check that out and defend. I don't know if it's a big base. Uh, a big attack, sorry. But we're just gonna... We'll, we'll head back to base through the portal here, and then I'll head over to that blue area, that flashing blue area. I don't know what the deal with that is over there. Come on, give me some cobalt. Where the hell is it? Right next to the goddamn deposit. Alright, some hazelnut. Alright, let's head back up the top here to this other base, the outpost. Get out of the way, trees. We can just teleport back. Alright, so we've got enemies coming from over here and over here. You know what that means? Time to make flamethrower floating mines. Is that a gun? Oh. Huh. Grenade launcher, rocket launcher. Crafting completed. Let's make that. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to chuck it on the sword. Because I am pretty sure that we can use two... Yeah, you can use two weapons at the same time. When they're not melee weapons. So, that there should be enough defenses here. But you can see the reason why... Oh, hold on. We are losing massive amounts of power. Uh, okay, hold on. Before we do that, wall destroyed. We need to get those up and running because we are going to run out of things. Right, let's go ahead over this way because that wall just got destroyed. Oh my god, they're all over here. I'll leave you guys to take care of the rest of that. Base is under attack. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Oh my god, no wonder it got destroyed. Look at all the enemies over here. The range dudes, they just destroy our walls. 
Okay. That went well. Uh, let's get some mores back up here. They always seem to focus this little bit, don't they? I don't know why. Maybe it's the most vulnerable, I guess. Um, that's fine. Let's get that up and running. Let's get some more towers here. We've got the defense for it. How's our power situation? We're producing 360. I don't know why we started taking such a big hit for. Let's set those up. What I'm going to do as well is I think I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to set this up as a generator place. As well. So if I set this... reason we're doing that is then I can do this. Because unlike that other outpost at the top there that we just put up, I don't think that's linked to our global storage because of where it's located. So what I can do is I believe I should be able to link this up like that. So all of the energy produced from here will go into our global pool. Because, yeah, we're running. We're out of energy. Slight tremors. They are intensifying over time. It looks like an earthquake is coming. Why are we still not outputting? Where's all this? We're going to run out of energy. It's an earthquake. Oh, Jesus. It's going to seriously damage all buildings near its epicenter. Oh, we're screwed. I just put these bastards up. Is it enemies coming as well? Yeah, the, the earthquake's right here. I'm trying to figure out why we're not... Oh, because it's night time now. We're not generating any power from our solar panels. I'm just trying to think of how we can continue uh, outputting energy. A new technology has been developed. Okay. We've got some research. Explosive weapons. Headquarters level 3. Tower ammunition. Biomass energy. What else have we got? Ooh, flame tower. Artillery tower? Rocket tower? We got water here or something like that. Liquid pipeline. Still can't learn alien research. Uh, let's grab that. Geothermal power plant. Okay. Are available for crafting. Let's take a look here. How much power have I got over here going? Base is under attack. Is it by enemies or just the earthquake? Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Yeah, it's just the earthquake. So why aren't we generating more power? The over. The tremors are getting weaker and weaker. We okay. should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're going to be generating power. I don't know what happened. I don't know why we started losing power generation. But it should be fixed now. I need to build that repair thingy. The repair building. I can't remember what it's called. So that we don't have to worry about having to do this ourselves. We can just send that. They send drones out, I think it said. Oh my god, all of this got damaged. Bloody hell. Oh my god, we opened. We awoken a new enemy. It's another elemental. These guys are seriously so badass. I love the enemy design of this. I think this is where we were supposed to head to in the first place as well. I, oh shit. I have a sneaking suspicion because the thingy it was telling us to use the scanner. So I feel like this is where we were supposed to come all this time. Because now we're, we still need like 400 pieces of freaking cobalt. But we're actually finding it up here. I feel like I love the flamethrower. Come on. That's another enemy right there. 
Oh, now we're finding deposits. Ashley, now that you've got practice with using the geo scanner, you can use it to search for hidden all right, so deposits. Now we need to set up something for here so we can harvest all this cobalt. It looks like it's going to be very useful. We could at least scan the area around our base. I might as well just do this while they're talking. It is also capable of finding hidden underground alien life forms. That sounds scary. We should definitely check the area around our base with it. We now have enough cobalt to construct the orbital scanner. Also, be mindful of this building's energy consumption. We should probably build some additional power plants and improve our energy storage capacity before connecting it to the power grid. Okay, so now it wants us to construct the orbital scanner building. Now, I really wish I had a way to connect it up to the other one all the way at the top that we've just built because it would really help us out if we could get that power line online with our main grid. Is it talking about this dude? Oh, it's a, th it's a geothermal vent. I own more. All right. Well, I mean, we're finding a lot of stuff. That's another one of those rock dudes. Oh, yeah, I don't know if this is intentional or not with the flamethrower and the melee weapons, but I feel like they do a lot of damage when combined together. Like, look at that. I feel like he's supposed to have a lot more health and... I mean, take a lot longer to kill than what we're killing him with. That just might be me getting ahead of myself, though. Okay, so have I got... A cobalt, carbonium, uh, tower ammo, tower ammo, solid material storage, ammo storage. Prepare for an ion storm. So I don't actually have anything to harvest up this cobalt, which seems strange to me. Why do we not have anything to harvest up the cobalt? I don't know. Wait, what did that say? Upgrade or build more communication hubs to increase download speed. Okay. Uh, let's build... The ion storm is disabling our equipment. Oh, this is freaky. Okay, I can't actually take that out. Oh, that's a robot. Can you do? Yeah, see how he resists everything? So I feel like this is how you're supposed to kill these big-ass rock dudes. Oh, we got another one coming. I don't know. I feel like once we have the ability to research these guys, we'll find more. Carbonium storage is full. All right. What I want to do is I want to build a little outpost around this cobalt, or so that I can come back here when I need more cobalt. So let's just go. Everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Carbonium deposit depleted. Okay. So, let's just get... one of these going. that we can get out of here because I have a feeling I'm going to need to come back for the code wall door. Oh, we've got 942. Oh, it actually harvests it up a lot faster than some of the other ones. All right, so it looks like this is on our, on our, on our grid. I'm not too sure how or why. I'm still trying to figure that out, but let's get one of those down. All right. Let's head back to base here. Has this already been taken out? Okay, that one is. Let's build another energy storage here then.
increase our output and then that'll allow us to get more energy. I want to see, where's our other outposts? I want to see if I can get uh, an energy connect. Oh, that's also empty. Can I go up there? I want to see if I can get this connected up to our main supply because that'll allow us to freaking just pretty much never run out of power. So if I can put this here. Oh shit. Oh, let me out! Damn, alright. Alright, so let's keep building these connectors. This is probably a bad idea because they're going to be unprotected. So I can imagine they get attacked and destroyed. I don't actually know. Okay. That's all connected up. we now got 121,000 storage energy in, in total. But uh, that's all joined up with us as well. Can I get over here? What's going on over here? We have no power. I'm not generating any power either. Uh, get some of those down. One of those. Alright, that should be good. Let's head back here. Alright, so it looks like one of our Ionium deposits are also decommissioned now by the looks of it. Which, I mean, it's not too much of a big deal at the moment. Because we're still generating a ton of it. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. A new technology has been developed. Uh, let's see. Can we put another one? Oh, here we go. Ammo storage, liquid material storage. Pipeline. Liquid pump? Water filtering plant. We just got a lot of stuff. I don't think I can build any of those there, no. Alright, well our power supply is doing good. We've got 410 and 314. I probably will need to build some more supplies. There's also one of these have been depleted, which is probably another reason why we're not generating as much power. I hope I sold the right one, yeah. Alright, let's go... Carbonium... There's like a very small amount there. I don't know if it's worth us putting a building there. We get all our resources back anyway, so I think it's fine. Alright, construct the orbital scanning building. Is it this thing? Construct the orbital scanner building. This is it here, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Whoa, hyper particle condenser. Fusion field reactor. Quantum gate stabilizer. I don't know, just, oh wait, hold on, orbital scanner. Armory, communication, orbital scanner. Okay. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. So it looks like we can build one of these big boys. Question is, where are we going to build it? See, this is the issue we're going to run into. Because I've built all this power stuff over here, which, I mean, eventually I can fix up, I suppose. I don't really have too much, too many other options when it comes to building other stuff. Orbital scanner construction okay. is in progress, but before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet, we should build the necessary local research facility. We're gonna upgrade this building as well. That should give us extra research. Can help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Still, one of the main reasons why we. I don't think I'm actually researching anything research anyway. Completed. Okay, renewable energy. Rift Magnetic Stabilizer, Gas Power Plant. I mean, I'm just, at this stage, just queuing up a bunch of stuff. Okay. Here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. We can research new technologies based on... Okay, so now we get an... Now we get an alien research. 
if we construct the Alien Research Laboratory building. The Alien Research Laboratory is a complex structure and requires... What is the Alien Research? Oh, there's the Alien Research one? Requires Headquarters Level 3 to be built. Okay. In order to be built, download the necessary technologies using the communications hub. All right, so it looks like those guys are going to be coming from over there. So I'm assuming they're most definitely going to be attacking this bit. Let's set a tower up or two. Honestly, I don't really care too much if we lose this stuff. I need to get some more uh, deposits going. Our resources themselves are replenishing at a pretty quick rate anyway. What I'm going to do... Okay, what I'm going to do, since I've already got all this line set up, right? What I might do is I might set up a little bit of a wall around it. Base is under attack. And... Run to our base. Except I can't, I'm stuck in here. <gasps> wall destroyed. Cancel, let me out. I can't get out of my damn... I don't know why I can't get out of this place. I'm stuck. I have to wait. I can't do anything. God damn it. Tower destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let me through. Let's go. Yeah, we need to move all of this stuff. because it's... Has been destroyed. I mean, they're firing in at it. One of our walls has been oh my god. Tower destroyed. Holy smokes. Base is under attack. Firing the grenade launcher and everything we have? I think so. I mean, I'm not too worried about losing the carbonium deposit stuff because we can rebuild those. Well, that was fun. Okay. Is that everything? That's the attack, I think. Alright, let's rebuild this then. Still got a little bit of carbonium all left. That attack honestly wasn't too bad. Okay, uh, let's get this back out. Carbonium power thingy-majiggy. Alright, so that should all be hooked up. That should be good to go. So what I'm going to do now is, like I was saying earlier, we're going to come back up here. Because I've already got this line established with the power things, what I can do is I can just come up here. I mean, sure, it might get attacked and stuff, but what we can do is I can go and do this. Set that up. We can go some more energy storage. Because this is already all connected, so we can just massively stockpile all this energy. Wind speed is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. We're going to generate power like crazy now. Especially with that wind. I might build some more energy storages. Okay. Traces of uranium. Ooh, exciting. Okay, so they're all built. So now we've got a total of 121,000. And like I said, this is all hooked up, so we don't really need to worry too much. What I will do is I'll stick a turret in. Okay. So that's going to give us a crap ton of extra power. Uh, let's just go more solar panels, I think. That's going to, once again, increase our output of energy. We're still getting quite a lot of whatever it's called, the carbonium, so that should be okay. 
Our Ionium is looking a little low. We might have to set up another outpost, but there is some more of these just here, so I can hook them up. All right, what do we need to do? Oh. Oh. Sounds like an interesting research. Yeah, let's go lesson. take a look. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Heck yeah, let's go take a look at what we got up here. All right, there it is up there. So yeah, we've still got. I'm like, what I can do is I can. Oh shit. What I don't understand is why. How are we losing energy when I've got these big ass things producing energy? See, we're losing energy. But we're generating 50 energy per second from these. So how are we losing energy? These don't take up any... These don't take up any... Unless there's a fault in the line somewhere. But there shouldn't be because it's saying that it's all connected. I don't know. Maybe I'll set this up as more energy as well. I wonder if I if I do it without walls, will they still attack? And let's just go carbonium. So if I set that up right, surely that should send our energy up like crazy. Alright, here we go. Let's take a look at what the big boy energy enemy is. Oh my god, what the creatures are coming from a nearby fudge nest. knocker to you. We go there and clear it out. This creature is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. You're not kidding, look at the damn size of this thing. We'll finish researching it in the lab. It's got quite a bit of health. I'm just gonna keep firing at it with our freaking grenade launcher. That is one badass dude, though. I'm not going to lie. The, the creature design, I love it. This is so cool. Made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important after researching it in a lab. Okay, but look, why are we losing power for? Is it because it's night time? We don't have any generations, go generators. But I just built three new Probably generators. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. How do I? Is there a way I can get like an overview? It doesn't look like there's a way I can get an overview. Research completed. Yeah, because I'm wondering why we're losing energy production for. We shouldn't be when we've got these big ass things in produ production. So I've got 613 biomass. That's what I don't understand, how we're losing power. This is all definitely connected. I mean, I'm probably losing power at the moment because we don't have any um, solar panels on at the moment. But all of this looks okay. It's all still connected up. So I don't know what it is. Download the alien research technology. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're going to wrap the episode up here today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. And I'll catch you in the next one.